and Laura, I'm looking for our, um, I'm looking for you because I need, I'd love to see you. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to just take a minute to introduce Laura. Laura Miller is joining me today. Everybody. If you talk, Laura, I think we can see you. Oh, hi, everybody. I, I love coming to Ginny's two o'clock on Tuesdays. <laughs> Yay. Well, welcome. And um, today is Valentine's Day. I wanted to say happy Valentine's Day for everybody. Um, but I did want to just take a minute and just be mindful and think about the MSU families that uh, had a very terrible day yesterday. And um, I'd like to us to take a minute to think of something joyful in our lives and think of about ways to feel happy inside and something that will bring you peace. And in painting this, maybe we paint a postcard and we can send it to MSU in honor of the parents that have lost children and the children who are, and they're not children, they're college students, but who are suffering in the hospital and speedy recovery to those. So having said that, that was not practiced. <laughs> so it might've been a little choppy, but we're, we're ready. We're going to start painting. I wanted to start with Laura and I have been spending a lot of time on Fridays. We've been doing some Chinese painting. So I'm just going to show you the Chinese brush and the black ink that we use. Uh, this is a good practice to get into. We're going to paint a tree, a Valentine tree, and it's inspired by Mary Lou. But before you get started, get all your black pens out. I like to just mark them on my book. I'm not sure, Laura, if we've done this together or not. But no, I don't think we have, but I'm with you. Okay, good, good. So I'm marking all, uh, uh, just a black line with all the black pens that I have even on the pen and the purpose is is we are going to illustrate and outline some of our tree and our hearts so we're going to make a valentine tree heart this one is in this is a acrylic black uh, acrylic marker it happens to be in blue but you may have it in black and um and here's another sharpie so the reason we're doing this is because if you want to illustrate your work, you need to know which pen will not bleed. Some bleed when they get wet and some won't. So that black ink is still a little dry, but on this edge, I'm going to take my brush with just water and rub through all those colors and see which ones are bleeding and which ones don't. So this first one was the Sharpie pen did not bleed. This big marker did bleed, so I'm going to put it away. This fat Sharpie did not. This skinny um, fiber Castile did not. And then my regular pen did not. And then here's another fine point Sharpie. So these are the pens that do not bleed when they get wet. And of course, this ink will not bleed when it, get, when it um, is dry. If the ink is wet, here's a part that's wet, just, just for you to know. If there's a little bit wet, it will bleed, which is kind of nice. It moves in. Um, let me show you a project. Laura and I did this. We were playing. And I think I saw this on, I know I saw this on Instagram. So if you see this person, give her a thumbs up. She takes her uh, ink and just dips it into the painting and watch how it just bleeds. Jenny, can I um, interrupt you for a second? Absolutely. Oh, brush with just water. Um, I just heard from Mary Lou that she can't find you, and I don't understand why not. Um, okay. So what, what should a person do to get this? Just go to Art Yourself Studio Facebook, and yes. it should pop up live? It should pop up live. It should tell her Facebook is live. That's they don't have to put anything else in. It'll just show that face you're live on Facebook. I believe so. If you go to Art Yourself Studio, if anybody finds something else, uh, let us know if there's another way to find it. I'm also looking on my Facebook, and I know it's here. So, yeah, it's on Facebook Live. 
and it's right under it says painting a valentine tree so um it's here we're live okay. I, oh there she is oh there. good oh good especially since she's the one who did the cute tree right yes yes it's, it's her very cute tree that we're gonna do today so yes mary lou we're gonna do your tree we just went through our black markers and that was a fun little exercise that i noticed on facebook i'm gonna put that book away and I'm going to pull up the tree that I uh, made an outline. And if you would like this outline, it will be uh, on YouTube under Art Yourself Studio. So you may go to YouTube. Let me make it a little smaller. Go to YouTube and you may um, download this. Sorry, download this image, this tree image. I'm going to use black ink today. So uh, this is the basic tree image. And what we're going to paint is this. And this is inspired by Mary Lou. Mary Lou, your beautiful tree that you posted for Valentine's Day inspired me for this. Instead of using the markers, I wanted to expose you to the ink. So I'm going to use black ink to make my tree. And again, you can find it on um, you can find it on YouTube. So I'm going to smush. I love this, how this black ink works the page. Lord, did you happen to get your black ink out? I know I didn't tell you ahead of time. I'm getting it out right now. Okay. Take your time. We're not in a rush. I'm just going to put a couple, as you see this tree, I'm doing it left-handed. Laura and I are lefties. If you're right-handed, you might put the vase and put the leaf branches uh, sorry, the branches over to the right. Uh, we are going over to the left. And I shouldn't assume you are, Laura. You may be looking at the picture and deciding to go right in the middle. Usually composition-wise, I recommend that you start off to the side. I usually okay. follow your lead, Jenny. Okay. So we, we usually go off to the side of the paper or into the middle and then have some... Um, let me say that again. Your composition, you can do it right in the middle and then balance it off both sides, or you just go off to one side. And if you notice this photograph, the picture is off to one side. It's just more pleasing to look at. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, what we're gonna do next is take your colors and you have clean water and dirty water. And what I'd like you to do, there's a couple ways we can go about it, but what I'd like you to do is just put a dot and a dot and a dot. So just make three dots and then um, connect those dots. And there you go, your basic heart. You can go big, you can go small, and I would recommend doing a couple different colors. If you want to outline, dot, 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 and then just outline your heart and then do a different color or stripe inside. I noticed that some of these are striped. Just have fun. We are gonna do, we're not finished. This is not enough. So I'm just gonna put a couple hearts on here and um, let's see, let's get some purple in there. What other color hearts? Does anybody have any ideas of hearts? I don't see any purple in the painting, but I want purple on mine. Wow, I'm going to drop one right down here, a nice purple one. And don't worry, I'm going to show you what we're going to do to connect to the tree. We're just placing our hearts. We're going to do something called Zen Tangle, and that's in honor of Pam Signorelli. Pam used to teach here in the studio a lot of Zen Tangle, and we love Pam's Zen Tangle. So, Lori, did you have a chance to do any Zentangle with, with uh, Pam? Oh, yeah. I I have done a lot of Zentangle with Pam. And even now that she's moved to Florida, she offers it once a month ah. on, on Wednesday afternoons, if you were to look Pam up on Facebook. Okay. Pam Signorelli, Facebook, or you can write in the comments, and then I will tag her to make sure she sees this. And let's see what else. Anything else? Am I missing anything? Do you have any pink? I have a flesh color here that'll look kind of pink. I'm gonna try it to see how it looks. 
Any colors, Laura? Oh, I know, what, Laura, which one you're going to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> opera Rose. <laughs> opera Rose. Laura and I love Opera Rose. I can't tell you. We There's something about it. You do have to buy it. It doesn't come in your regular set. It's just so bright and cheery. So bright and cheery. Okay, you can go on, but while this is drying, I'm going to pull out this book that was recommended by Pam to me. It's a um, Dangles book. It's an awesome book. And this gives you many ideas of how to draw a dangle from your drawings. So if you want to do a straight line and then the hearts at the bottom, or you can do circles and diamonds and then have your heart at the bottom. This has stars. If you wanted to add stars to your Valentine tree, you can. Uh, here's a tip I'm gonna pick up. I like these three hearts, the four hearts, small, medium, and then get large. So because I'm inspired by that, I'm going to go ahead and make that happen in my book. Please feel free to look at some of these and use them. If you want to give reference to the book when you post your painting, you can. But I believe this is a book written for people to learn how to Zentangle and use. And I think the intention is for us to just use it and enjoy. And I just doing those three little hearts. And if I'm going too fast, Laura, let me know. Keep it up with you, Jenny. Okay, you know how I like to go fast. I get too excited. Check YouTube. I've got some videos on YouTube. We did this three years ago, Laura, we were doing these live and all of them are up on YouTube. I introduced my VA on Friday, did a little live and introduced my VA and he has been busy at work putting all these videos on YouTube for us to enjoy. Spread the word, tell your friends, join. Okay. Now that's pretty much dry. You can either use your pen. I like that skinny Sharpie pen. And then draw your, your dangles down. So connect them to the tree. And Mary Lou, I, I didn't copy a picture of your tree, but if you want to put, put a picture of it in the comments, I know it's on your Facebook page. I'm having fun just adding some little curly cues. Definitely put pictures in your in the comments so we can see what you're doing. Ah, oh, Mary Lou said she learns Entangle in Florida while on vacation. Was it by Pam by chance? Everybody in this area loves Pam. We miss her. What's another symbol of X's and O's? of love for Valentine's Day, X's and O's. And as we're painting, we're just mindful. We're thinking joy. We're thinking good thoughts, relaxing. I like that one with the little little um, hearts in there. This is so relaxing doing this. Yeah, it's it's a bit of watercolor plus a little zentangle. And if you have beautiful handwriting, you can write a special message down here. Maybe you made a postcard for for a friend. I'm going to add a little bit of definition with my um, ink for the tree. I'm trying to pick some different colors that I don't normally use.
Anybody have any ideas? Okay, no worries. You don't have to send it now, Mary Lou. Thank you. I know you'll put it in. Um, who did you learn Zentangle from in Florida? Do they happen to do it on Zoom? There's a local group of artists in the area and we all support each other. And hopefully you can join our community, follow Art Yourself Studio and be in our community. You're all welcome. Laura, did you use any blue? Oh, I haven't yet, but you know, I just started, I have a metallic gold oh. and I was, I was adding that just for a little sparkle here. Oh, that's a good idea. What company makes that gold? Let's see. I think it was just a reasonable one that I bought maybe at Michael's or something. It's an artist loft. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's just for fun, like doing this. Oh, great. It's a good idea. You can put, you can use it too, you know, in a real light wash over something that you've already painted just to give that little extra sparkle. Yeah. I also wanted to share, I do, I think it, it, here's mine, Art Philosophy. Is that the one you have? Oh yeah, I have that too. I forgot about it. <laughs> Those are all glittery ones, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Look how pretty that one is. What's nice about having these type of classes, they remind you of all the goodies you do have that we should use. Yeah. Don't be afraid to get them out. And I can see my hand smudged this one right here. It must have been wet when I got it over. It's okay. Use anything you want to just redecorate it. I'm going to use my black pen. Is it dry? Okay, my black marker and just make it a spring. It's a little spring coming off that tree. And you hardly even notice that that was a mistake. I'm so glad you mentioned the art philosophy metallic accents they're called yeah 12 different 12 different colors of just sparkly fun i think i got mine at paper source but i bet you can get them on amazon and i bet um i bet Art, um, michaels has them yeah i think i got them at um the store in birmingham you're talking about Yes. Yeah, I think that's where I got mine, too. Okay, any designs that you thought of, Laura, that we should? Oh, I've added a few little flowers. Oh, flowers, good idea. And then, and then I have squiggles coming out of those. Just perfect. Just plain. Love it. I'm just mindful of being joyful, enjoying the day. Give me a thumbs up if you like your tree so far, if you like how it looks. A little wild, but I'm enjoying mine. Excellent. I don't know about anybody else, but the wind has gotten a hold of a few of mine, so oh. they're blowing in the breeze. <laughs> oh, that's good. Good. I think I saw a sad face. And anybody know why the sad face? Tell me why. I'd like to know. Or is it a mistake? That happens too. What can I do to help you with your watercolors? If you don't have the black ink, don't worry. Just use your black watercolor. That's perfect. Oh, okay. Way before Zoom. Well, Mary Lou, if you would like to do Zentangle, we'll we'll connect you with Pam. She's a fabulous teacher and she does really well on Zoom. Let's see, anything else to add to your trees? If you're thinking, oh, that black is just on the tree, I'd like some brown, 
let's see what happens. Just experiment. Every time I look at it, I see something different. I might add some brown to it. It's not going to hurt. There you go. As you're creating your trees, I'm going to add, show you something that I think is really important that you do. I'm going to put it over here to the side. Make a color chart with all your colors. Anytime you get a new box of colors, make a color chart that you'll always be able to go back to and look at it and see what color is what. Then keep it in a folder because if you're like Laura and I, we have several different palettes of color of uh, paints that we use and it's really important to see which color is, is doing what. Well, this was a quick, fast one. How does yours look, Laura? I can hold it up for you to see. I don't think everybody else could see it. It's just fun. Just fun little was a doodling with with um hearts <laughs> excellent yeah it looks good we can see it everybody look up in the small corner oh, could everybody see it i think that's yep. uh, i had a few smudges with my black ink but eh, i just put stuff over them just perfect. plain perfect that's the idea i also have another hot tip sometimes in my class we do warm-ups and I'll ask you to have three or four different color pens. So I uh, bought one and, and Laura, I'm gifting you one today because you're here with me. Uh, it's a pen that has all the different colors on it. Do you remember these as a kid? Give me a thumbs oh, up yeah. in the chat. <laughs> what a fun thing they were to have. Yes, remember? Well, it has the orange and you push it down and then you're drawing with an orange so um, this is just a hot tip. It's really good to have. If you're gonna take some painting lessons, it's really good to do a warm up. And the warm up is look at various pictures of the topic you're going to study and draw it in one color. Then put another picture up and draw it in another color. Uh, I per perhaps we'll experiment with this um, next week. And in the meantime, you can order your pen. Laura, I will give you yours and um, yeah, I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody show anything they want to, uh, any questions they want answered? I, I just wanted to share, Jenny, that I, well, I had a big block and I made it into a big heart that didn't, was too big to hang on the tree. So I made it into something we used to do as kids, I made a Valentine guy, just gave him a little legs and arms. <laughs> Oh, okay, Laura, can you hold it up to the camera and just hold there, it? The there he is. Just a little guy. Just something fun. That's something fun to do with the kids if you ever do these type of projects with the grandkids or your children. It's, it's just fun. That is adorable. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, Mary Lou, I can I can put out a pen for you. I have a place in my um, cubby in the back of the studio that you're welcome to come and get it or give me a call and I'll run it out to you if you drive by, if you're driving by the area or I can mail it to you for sure. I have several. So um, what was the other thing I was going to think about that we're doing? You Oh, the little guy. Do you remember? Let's see if I can do this. Do you remember? This is really... A big one and I don't think it's really a heart is it but you reminded me of when we were kids do you remember taking up uh, your scissors oh Mackinac City in fact I was just there yesterday Mary Lou I could have brought it to you anyway send me DM me your address and I'll mail one to you but remember taking the scissors and then using it and making these little I guess it's a bird it's not really a heart <laughs> little heart guy yeah, he's a bird. You just reminded me of doing something fun when you were a kid. Love it. That's what it's all about. Take a minute, be mindful, spend some time enjoying the moment. 
this will be it's live right now it'll be on um youtube by tomorrow so you're welcome to go to youtube and re-watch it or add to it but definitely make comments tell me something you're interested in something you'd like to see anything i can do for you any tips you want to learn about and that's it we've been 20 26 minutes that's not bad wow time really flies when you're having fun <laughs> it is can you use this to make a um card for somebody um mine's in my workbook just so i have my template to, to go but this Perfect. is just so relaxing to just sit here and have fun excellent so happy i did put a date on the corner definitely date your work you could date it on the back side if you don't want anybody to if you don't want the date to interfere thank you for reminding me about the metallic i really like this metallic blue that i have over this pink really fun well you reminded i reminded i showed you what i had but you reminded me that i had this whole set of 12 <laughs> paints that i forgot about so now this is what's so fun about painting together well, we always have fun yes and i would like to invite you to um anybody who would be interested in being a guest on zoom doing the zoom live with us you are welcome to just dm me and i will send you the zoom link and the invite and you can join laura and i laura and i painting uh you're always welcome i also would like to open up a friday morning hour and a half session that we all just paint whatever we're working on and if you need any tips or any suggestions i'm happy to help you uh the reason why i'm bringing it up now is because i'm isn't it fun laura like i'm just finding how much fun we're having painting together mm -hmm. it is it is fun it i think it helps get the creative juices flowing too to be together and a lot of times we just bounce ideas off each other don't we mm -hmm. ideas so yeah send me a dm let me know if you'd like to be a part of it you can go to my website artyourselfstudio.com you can sign up for emails. You can write down what you're interested in, in, what you want me to send you emails about. I really only send once, one every, maybe one month, maybe once every two months. Uh, I'm not a big email person. I'm more like DM me, let's talk on pers in person. Um, I do have an online class. I'm just gonna be launching it. And uh, a part of my class, you will get 10 minute uh, 10 minute uh, private session with me so that we can talk about what your week of learning was. So um, you'll be seeing some advertisements coming out for that. So anything else, Laura, am I missing anything? Oh, I think you covered it, Jenny. I, I encourage people to join you for a class. I thoroughly enjoy all my classes that I, I have taken and I am currently taking with you. Thank you, Laura. I really appreciate that. And if you have a chance, look at Laura's uh, Facebook page. She definitely posts her paintings and they're really fun to, to see, see her growth and look what you can do. Thank you, Jenny. All right, everybody. Really great to see you all. Hope you have a really good week. Have a nice day and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye, Thank everybody. You, Thank you.